Hi, it's Chester Tugwell from Blue Peaking and Computer Training. In this video, we're going to look at uh, performing a case sensitive lookup. So, my scenario here I've got a little uh, table here of products. Some of the products have a capital O, some have a lower case O. So, for each product, there's basically two vari uh, one variant from the original, um, and they have separate sales values that require them to be returned uh, case sensitively with my lookup. I've got a drop down list of these products here. When I select the product here, I want the correct sales value to appear in this cell. Now, a normal VLOOKUP function that you might use in this scenario will ignore, is blind to case. VLOOKUP is blind to case. So it will not be able to differentiate between this and this. In fact, if I looked up PRO1789 with a little o, it would return the first variant of that product there. Because it does not see the fact that that's lowercase and that is uppercase. Now to get around this, I can use a function called exact. Now exact allows you to compare two values to see if they have the same case. So if I compare this with this, I should get a false. But if I changed it to the lowercase value, the uppercase value rather, I get a true, because those two are now the same. That is the same as that. Now the thing is, is that, um, okay, I need to compare uh, that with that, but this product, may be anywhere in this list. So actually what I need to do is compare it to all these other values as well, just in case it's not the top one. Whenever you do something like that, that normally requires just a single cell reference, you probably know that you have to use an array formula. So where it normally requires a single cell reference and now you're using a, an array or a range, you're gonna have to use Control, Shift and Enter for it to work. Now, it's not quite doing what we want it to do at the moment, but if I just look behind the scenes in this formula, and I can do that, by double clicking in, and then doing FN, uh, sorry, F9 on your keyboard, what you can see is, is that it returns a set of true and falses, rather than just one true and false, it's returning a set of true and falses. So, let's have a look at what it's doing. So PR little o1789 is false for the first cell in the range, and but then it's true for the second, false for the third and fourth. So if I was to change this to the last one, I would expect if I did the same thing, I do my control shift and enter, I would expect it to um, return a fourth false rather than a first, second or third. So let's try that, let's do my F9. And you can see, yeah, the, the fourth value is the true value and the others are falses. So what this is able to do with an array formula is basically return a true at the position where there is a match in case within this range. Now, how do we utilize that position uh, in the form of a, a lookup? Well, the next thing to do is to use the match function. Now, the match function finds the position of a value within a, a, an array or a range. So we, um, I'll just put an equals in front of that. The first argument is the lookup value. So we want to find the position of true. Uh, our lookup array will be our little exact function here. And we want to perform an exact match. So I put in a zero. Now I'm doing control shift and enter. And you can see that this now, rather than returning just true and false, returns the position of that true within this little array that we have here. So if I change that to PR little o1789, it returns 2. If I chose PR uppercase o2222, it returns 3. 
So I'm nearly there now. So what I can do is then use the index function, which you may be aware of. And what that requires is an array. So basically, this number that I'm coming up with, one, two, three, or four, if I can pick the first, second, third, or fourth value within this column, then I've got the correct sales value. So my array is this column here, comma, it's now asking for a row number, which is returned by this match function. It's only got one column in this array, so I don't need to actually specify a column value. So I can just close my brackets. Now I can need Control Shift and Enter because we're doing an array formula. And hopefully this is now going to work. So if I say PR uppercase O 1789, yeah, 5456 is the correct answer. Lowercase O. 4425 seems to have worked okay so that's utilizing the exact function using an array formula so that's control shift and enter rather than an enter when you confirm your formula and then combining that in a match function and then using the result of the match function in your index function it's chester tugwell at blue pecan computer training hopefully that's been helpful